Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to easily check your fuses and how to possibly find a short. If you do have one, you want to get yourself a test light like this. Most test lights just tell you when you have a positive, they'll turn red or turn on. But what you want to do is get yourself a, a test light that I can actually tell you there's a negative. These become very useful and can prevent a big headache because if you go to one side and it's positive, that means power is coming on from the ignition system and you go to the other side and you have a cold or a ground then you know you got a short somewhere and that needs to be fixed before you start popping fuses in and start causing all kinds of damage so you can easily go through this uh, pretty quickly without having to pull the fuses out you can check both sides and when you're doing this you want to kind of just give it a little bit of a shake too sometimes these contacts and these fuses actually don't sit well. I've seen this happen many times, especially when you start buying the uh, cheap, poor quality fuses. You will have, this will happen to you. And so this makes it really easy. You would want to go through and check the rest of these. And sometimes some of these fuses actually will be cold so they'll be cold on both sides and that's okay you just don't want to see one that doesn't have anything coming to it or one side's hot and one side's cold and doing it this way is really effective especially in cramped corners like this this happens to be inside of a glove box without this style of light it's going to be really hard to go pinpoint any kind of problems so this will save your back and let me show you guys another uh, panel that's got a lot more fuses and some of the things that I just talked to you guys about and what a burnt fuse actually looks like. To remove a fuse you can use a fuse puller like this they have these. This is a really cool one because it actually locks in here. You could use the other side depending on the style of fuse and slide it over. This is a fuse tester that tests the smaller and bigger fuses and it's got a puller on the other side. If you don't have one of these or it's lost in your vehicle just use a pair of pliers like this, some long needle nose, so you can actually get in there and be very careful when you pull it out, not to break any of the contacts or the terminal inside. Now the purpose of a fuse is to protect the circuit. So this is a 5 amp fuse and they have little markers on top and the bigger the fuse is, the bigger that little element in there will be. So this happens to be one of the smaller ones you can get and instead of drawing too much current it'll blow the fuse instead or if it gets a short it will go ahead and blow like this there you go so now that fuse is burnt now visually you can actually see that that fuse has a spot right there and it's burnt out now if you grab a multimeter and you put it on the continuity setting right here this is the one and what will happen is Anytime some, something has a, a contact, it will go ahead and alarm us. So if we take that fuse and we try it, we don't get anything. Whereas if we take a good fuse, we do the same thing. Now we get an alert that that is connected and there's no break in that actual fuse. And if you can see, this is a 7.5 amp fuse. And this right here is a 30 amp fuse. You can clearly see the difference in the element inside. The one on the left is a lot thinner. The one on the right is a lot thicker. And never trust your eyes. Just because something looks like it's good, like this wire, you would think that there's nothing wrong with this wire. It's all connected. And it will play tricks on you. So check this between a wire there's no con uh, continuity the tester is on because inside here you'll have a contact that goes bad and this can happen on cars on uh, on wiring anywhere so pay attention to that and don't uh, be a victim of your senses so there it goes on and off so this can this can uh, wreak havoc on any kind of diagnostic that you're trying to do. And not that I'm recommending it, but if you're stuck in the middle of the desert and you don't have anywhere to go, 
what you can do is you could actually make a fuse and using that burnt fuse that we had basically wrap the wire around there now if it's a 35 amp fuse right you would obviously need a lot more wire this is just a 5 amp fuse right here and as we're going to see in a second it went from not working and being blown right there to working and this vehicle has two fuse panels some vehicles will have three and they'll even have a fourth somewhere hidden sometimes by the battery on top of the battery it'll be a little mini fuse distribution box so you can you want to go and check every one of these to make sure that both sides are the same polarity and if it's rated at 10 amps and it keeps blowing don't go and replace it with the 20 amp fuse and think that's going to solve your problem the wire is actually not rated for 20 amps so you want to make sure you always use the correct designated amperage that's listed here on top uh, instead of just uh, keep putting in bigger bigger and bigger fuses in if you are uh, got a special power adapter or something running through your cigarette lighter and it keeps blowing well that probably lets you know that you should probably hook that up somewhere else or get a direct connection to the battery and put some kind of switch there instead of doing it the way you're doing it yeah everything on here looks good and something like this makes it really easy because it's got a built-in light so I can actually go and see what I'm doing and in case I lose power the light will turn off sometimes test lights don't do that so now if I come here I got nothing that's just with the negative connect disconnected I'm not able to pull anything off and with the test light like this you can actually check a fuse panel like this in less than two minutes even in the most awkward positions this is a lot safer than using a power probe uh, sometimes people have I've actually seen people use power probes but unless you know what you're doing a lot of these cards are really complicated you can cause a lot of damage because of all the special electronics on the vehicle and here's another tip these are both 30 amp fuses they actually can fit into the same slot so the slot that takes that 30 amp larger size right here on the right can actually take the smaller size as well but you want to make sure you change it out as soon as possible and you could also check your fuses with the multimeter if you don't have one of those test lights using that same setting that I showed you earlier let me know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support